My name is Francisco Paso. I am from New Orleans, Louisiana. I am currently in Bonneville High School in the 12th grade, and this is my senior year. Bonneville Magnet Academy is a very diverse group of people where we have majority of African American and Hispanic, then followed by Caucasian and Arabic. Bonneville is a very college bound, also career path school where they try to focus on, okay, which field are you going to take? Are you going to do health and services? Are you going to be in business management or in technology and equipment? And Bonneville has a whole lot of groups from art to see, which I'm part of, to commercial arts, to the photography club. Everything that we can really look for within the boundaries outside of high school is provided at Bonneville. There are most definitely disconnected youth located at Bonneville, <laughs> absolutely. Um, there are a lot of kids and a lot of students that I used to know that dropped out of school because of the lack of support from families or lack of support of any motivation from anyone or anyone they could consider family. Um, I've been privileged evidently to still have both my parents and my family at home, whereas these other kids don't have the same benefits I do. They go to school, wake up very late in the morning because they have to work from 4 to 12 in the morning and then go to school the next day, wake up at 6 and not get the rest they need. So they come with the attitude that really is not the friendliest, but it is very evident that they're not in control of what they want to do. And with that set on the back with having a positive attitude, contributing to class, participating with school activities, school programs, they are extremely exhausted. The teachers do not want to tolerate bad attitude children without really connecting with them, asking them what is wrong. Knowing that they're sitting in class, striving for attention, trying to get help, but no one steps forward to say what is wrong and approaching them in a manner to let them know it's okay, talk to me. So with that set in the back, they think, okay, no one's here to help me. I'm going to live my life. I'm going to do it my way since no one else can help me. And that's what really the mentality of these underprivileged children, or not necessarily underprivileged, but disconnected youth have is the fact that no one takes the time to get to know who they are past the look on their face or past that attitude where no one touched me. It's the fact that no one wants to take the next step in helping someone who can be more than successful.